Hey guys, this is Faisal Khan from Voice Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to talk about audio element of the Call Studio scripting. Now you probably already know about this element, but we're going to go through a couple of different scenarios to see how you can utilize this in various um, uh, different type of applications or different requirement, for example. So I'm going to walk you through the static uh, audio element, the initial uh, audio group. We're going to talk about, uh, say, the smart. We're going to talk about how to pass audio file as a variable, uh, both element data and session data. Now, audio element basically plays a media file, and that could be a static or a dynamic, say it is smart. As, as you start the script, somewhere you will see an audio file well, play, that asks you to uh, play an audio prompt. It will be identified as audio underscore uh, numeric digit. However, you can rename it to something like more meaningful, like welcome prompt. Now, every audio, um, element will have a series of an audio group now some will have only one initial some will have more than uh, one audio group under the audio group you can create multiple audio item uh, where each item will play a particular file or it could could play a text-to-speech uh, server conversions or even say the smart now because uh, we don't have we currently we don't have a text-to-speech server in this particular lab so therefore, I'm not going to be able to show you uh, the TTS server. However, in the subsequent lab later, I will show you how to use the TTS. Now, audio group settings, when you go to the element, you'll see that there is an audio tab and there you will find an audio item. Now, once you rename it, if you want to, you can obviously specify the audio file name that you wish to play. Now, this audio file name can be either uh, a static file or you can say it is smart. Say it is smart means it will basically say something, uh, re, uh, play a pre-recorded message based on certain uh, matching. Now, as you specify the audio file, like say, let's say you want to specify a uh, static, you would need to specify the path. So this path, it would be, will depend on how your project is configured with the default audio path. If your project is already configured with the default audio path, then you can choose this option or if you do not have configured the default audio path, for example, if you uncheck it, then you must specify the file name, uh, the, uh, the exact URL to that particular file. Another thing that you need to keep in mind that if you do put TTS values, then it, you will have to make sure that a TTS server is available. Now, audio, uh, each um, audio element,